Today I'm going to be making a face mask with almond pulp. This is the unused part of the almond milk that I made. And I'm going to start with a banana, half a banana, ripe banana. This is a little gross looking because I didn't have any ripe banana, so I had to unfreeze one and then microwave it. So it's a little gross. And I'm going to mash it up. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of the almond pulp. Generous tablespoon. And two cups of oats. Sorry, two tablespoons of oats. That would be a pretty oaty mask, okay. And one tablespoon of almond milk. One drop of peppermint oil. Then we'll just mix it up. I've never actually tried this, but it's supposed to work really well on dry and combination skin. I have my Turby Twist on to avoid getting it in my hair. And by the way, if you don't have one of these, they're genius, I love them. And I always use them in the shower to avoid getting my hair wet. Shoot, it doesn't stick. Maybe because I have makeup on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe it needs like honey or something in it. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Well, this is a disaster. You're supposed to keep this on for 10 minutes. Let it dry and then take it off. It's supposed to be very refreshing. Um, jeez. It just like does not want to stick. I have to stay really still so it doesn't fall. Oh god. Chunks are like falling off. It's been about five minutes. Some of it is still sticking. What you don't see is the stuff that fell off in this sink. Well, this did not seem to work out so well. Maybe it's because I didn't steam my face and take my makeup off. I don't know. But I probably will not be using this again. This is not a good recipe. Um, but I'm hoping that making some of the other almond pulp recipes will work because I definitely don't want that to go to waste. I do have an update about the mask. I just washed it off and my skin actually does feel very fresh and kind of like alive. So I don't think I would recommend it. I probably will never do it again. Actually, I will never do it again, but it does feel good.